Okay, in this video we're gonna be changing the stock carburetor that comes with the, the end field and this is the, the iron barrel uh, end field. This particular model is 2003 uh, Enfield 500. The carbs that come with these bikes originally don't perform as good and since we just uh, changed the muffler, we put a gold star muffler, sounds good. Now we want to change the carburetor. So carburetor of uh, my choice uh, was this GR GRC 30A New Enfield 30mm flat uh, slide carb 58 flange. Okay, so why why we chose this one is well it comes with a uh, jet kit. So maybe you want to do some tweaking with that. The stock jet that comes in here, the main jet is 140. So I think that's good for now. And the reason why we chose this carb is this flange right here fits on the stock head. And um, so all we got to do is open this, take this out, and then put this on here. To start off, we're going to take the air filter off. And so we have more space in, in here to work with. So I loosen these, these bolts here, and there's, this is the air filter. We put that aside. Then, then we're gonna take these two Allen key bolts off here, and then we're gonna take the carburetor off. Okay, here comes off the carburetor. We're not gonna use this anymore. We're gonna put the studs inside the head in here, and we are gonna keep this washer here and we're going to take one of these washers also we'll use this one with the new carburetor um, the new carburetor uses the same cable and so all we have to do is disengage the cable in here and um, put the new carb on and we're going to put a new fuel line on there okay the carb is off the next thing to do is will be take the the cable out or the, the slide out here okay here comes the, the slide out and now all we, all we gotta do is open this up and try to put the new cable inside in here Okay, we we'll get these two screws off of here, and be careful with that little gasket there. And we gotta get the slide out. So what we want to do is get the cable through here, through here, in, in through here, and put this tab inside like this but all the spring so it's got to go in here like that so it's kind of tricky but at this point we can see for reference what uh, what slot our needles on so in the middle is fine we're gonna fine-tune it later on anyways but just for reference one should know Okay, we got the <clears throat> the wire through the spring. So pull the wire aside. And whoops. And it's got to go through here. Then we got to have the wire go through here and have it sit in the slot there. And then this plastic piece it goes one way so it's, it's going to go right there.
spring is in be careful of the gasket okay our slide is good to go now okay we got the carb on here we're gonna check if it's free inside and then we can twist the handle and see it's moving good next thing will be to get the studs in here and then we're gonna put some Loctite on the on the studs over here and put these studs in here um, the stud and the bolt are very tight on this side so just leave only enough of the, th the thread here just enough for the bolt okay we got the studs in here with Loctite on here and now we, all we have to do is put the carb on here Okay, we got the carburetor on and we don't have to deal with the rubber that was in between here. And I'll show you this carb that came off, how cracked the rubber was. And you see that? There was actually a hole in there. So now we don't have to deal with this. We got the carburetor tied on here. All we have to do is attach the fuel line and we'll see how that works. Okay. We got the carburetor, we got the fuel line in, and now we're gonna start it up. 